Hey, man. You're that cat from Howie Leaves. McCoy, right? We keep bumping into each other. You want an autograph? I know you ain't heard of me yet, but Gordo Frizz's autograph's gonna be worth a pile of chinyan someday. I'll hold my breath. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Man, don't you got anything better to do than hassle innocent people at their place of work? Make it snappy, okay? I really appreciate your patience. You know the chef at Howie's? That big, flabby guy? Never seen him before. You were hanging around right when he took off. Pure coincidence. You are one hell of a suspicious cat, McCoy. Kick back, relax, watch my show. Take a little break from your boring existence. tornado have in common. First, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you lose your house. You know what my first wife's nickname was? Twister. A doctor calls up his patient. I got bad news, and I got worse news. The bad news is, you only got 24 hours to live. The patient says, what could be worse than that? The doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. Guess what happens to a replica? does his job really well. Early retirement, baby. I see we got a celebrity in the audience. Can I get a spot, please? That's right. It's one of the boys from the local Blade Runner unit. One of the LPD's finest, Ray McCoy. Let's give a big hand for Rep Detect McCoy. He's protecting us poor slobs, ladies and gentlemen. He even thinks you're a replicant. He can waste you right where you stand. Nice job, eh, detective? It doesn't quite work that way. How about yourself? You sure about yourself? Cause I got some friends, they say they know you. You're lying. I remember early Q used to call himself a humanitarian because he'd recruit orphans for a sex club, then donate a percentage of their salary to his favorite animal propagation lab. Yeah, he was a real piece of work. Hey, Hanoi, where's early? Off world fat farm. <laughs> you can do better than that. No, it's true. Mr. Q sent me a vid just yesterday. Yeah, the hell of a tan he is. Not the talkative type. What's your pleasure, sir? The highest octane. One Venus high trap coming up. Early, how's it hanging? Thick, slick, and hard as a brick. How's yours, General? Your man gave me a hard time out there. Yeah, I like Hanoi, but I can't deny his sphincter's a little tight. What's on tap tonight? Classy shows all evening, General. You're going to be able to cut diamonds down there. Oh, your money back. You buy some jewelry at an auction recently? Real old, elite stuff? Who's asking? You ain't the robbery homicide. No, sir. Nah, those pieces ain't hot. I got the papers to prove it. I picked them up at legitimate auction. Cost me nearly a pound of flesh, too. You give this stuff to a girlfriend early? You kidding? I ain't that stupid. No, no, no. no. I was letting one of my dancers use this stuff in her act. Kind of a tribute to the ancient swamplands, you know what I mean? Which dancer? 
Heck yeah, man. She's going on in the field. She's one of my biggest earners, too. She ain't in any trouble now, is she? Not yet. Good, good. Wouldn't want to slaughter the goose that lays them golden eggs. This girl one of yours? This ain't no daycare center, General. Of course she ain't half bad looking. My pappy always used to say if there's grass on the field, it's time to play ball. So, she hasn't been around here? Nah, she ain't one of mine. Talk to Taffy. He gets most of the petty business around here. It's men like you that made this country great early. Hey, early. I'm working right now, General. Ask me later. That's strange. I didn't hear a knock. I just wanted to say, wow, you were awe-inspiring. Well, thank you very much, Mr... McCoy. Uh, Ray McCoy. Is there something I can do for you, Mr. McCoy? That's such an unusual belt, is it antique? They say it's from the last century. Those little creatures have always been my favorites. Dragonflies? Yes. And the whole class that contains them. Tell you the truth, I'm from the LPD. I'd like to ask you a few questions if I could. Is this about early Q? Because I could tell you. Did any other pieces come with the belt? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. You buy a vehicle lately? A black sedan? I wasn't aware that was a crime. Buying the car isn't. Using the car in an animal murder, well... Animal murder? That's horrible. I haven't seen the car for two days. It was stolen the day after I bought it. Is that right? Any reason you didn't tell me that right off? You didn't ask. Animal murder's pretty horrible. Yes. Any murder is horrible, and unfortunate. Some are worse than others. But death's the same for all. No argument there. There's a little test I'd like you to take. Do you think I'm a replicant? Is that what this is about? If it's early Q, I'll help you any way you want. Not exactly. This is insane. I have a family, a daughter for heaven's sake. 
Look, I'm willing to testify against early Q. A replicant wouldn't do that, would it? A replicant doesn't necessarily care about what happens to another replicant. Then you must be a replicant. I'm sure I'm not. How do you know you're not a replicant? Did you ever take that test yourself? Sure I did. Long time ago. Don't replicants go around with false memories? Maybe somewhere along the line you killed a human, took his place, and your superiors don't even know about it. Interesting idea. But I'm still gonna give you the test. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? I don't see why you need to know that. What do you do for a living? That's a stupid question. Just calibrating the machine. So the test hasn't started yet? Not yet. What's your name? Dectora. Just Dectora? Yes. You pour yourself a drink. Every time you finish one, you have another until you vomit. You wake up hungover and depressed. Speaking from personal experience, Mr. McCoy? Answer the question. All right. There's nothing to do but wait for the hangover to pass. You see a documentary about 20th century tuna boats. At the end, you feel like taking up fishing. No, I don't. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I might give him some, if I had any to spare. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. Ridiculous. I wouldn't. You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. I'd leave, and I'd report the restaurant to the authorities. Your child comes home with a black eye. I'd ask him who did it, and I'd call the boy's mother. It's the first day of school and the teacher calls on you. I'd answer, of course. That's a stupid question. Test terminated. I get it. You're some kind of sexual deviant. I'm finished with you. Get me the police. You're doing the right thing. Yes, this is an emergency. Early cues backstage. A customer is harassing me. Thank you. Put that away. I'm a cop. Now we wait. If your hand moves, I'll shoot. Okay. Please don't talk. The sound of your voice grates on my nerves. We waited there for a few minutes. Her gun and her eyes never wavered. Any other mark, I'd have been a dead man. But if she was a replicant, she must not have known it if she was willing to call the police. This a troublemaker? Put your hands on top of your head. That's right. Ray McCoy, Rep Detect, BR-61661. Never heard of you. I report to Lieutenant Guza. Call him. I work for you? Let's go. Where's your squad car? Shut your mouth. Which precinct are we going to? I'll tell you which one. This was no precinct house I'd ever been in, and I thought I'd been in them all. The grunt to my right had the beefy harness bull look down pat, and his twitchy partner in the suit looked like he was just itching to chainsaw a couple of kneecaps. Other than that, everything was hunky-dory. Impersonating a police officer, huh? I guess the new Nexus models are a little more creative than the old ones. I'm a Blade Runner. You don't believe me? Call Lieutenant Guza. There ain't no Guza in the LPD. Unless I've been walking around in a dream, there is. That's what always bugs me. Yeah, the fact that these skin jobs always gotta live someone else's life. No shit. Just make the call, damn it. <gasps> You're just a piece of shit rep with memory implants of this Guza guy, you understand? <laughs> That's impossible. Rep ain't sounding so creative now. You wanna avoid comp me? Be my guest. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Very convincing. Where have you been hiding? The Kipple? Gregorian bring you in? Who else is working that side of the pool these days? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah! What about that bastard selling all that stuff downtown? Hey, shut your trap. 
I'll tell you something, McCoy. I don't even care how you go out. But I know you can feel pain. And on that account, I'm your man, Sue. You tell me about everyone you met through cars, and I'll guarantee you will go real easy. Your breath smells like you wiped your ass with your teeth. <laughs> You're gonna wish you was neck deep in an off-world reactor vessel by the time I get through with you. Fire up the chair, Holly. You know what I'm gonna come back as in my next life? A priest. Uh, there's something holy about it. How good I am at this. Freeze! Don't even go for it! You got any idea how glad I am to see you? No time for chit-chat, Slim. You want to save your ass? We gotta blow this joint right now. What the hell took you so long? Good thing you made your entrance when you did. Good thing one of my snitches saw them escort you out of the club. Otherwise, you'd be three quarters in the bag right now. They must have been phony cops hired by the reps for protection. Cops, yes. Phony, no. I remembered Baker. He used to be an SID expert on coercive technique until he was fired from the force a couple years ago. A mercenary? Bingo. He won't have to worry about getting paid no more. That stripper you interviewed? She's one of them. Figure it out. She must have made the call to Baker and that other bozo. Let's attend to some business. I'm there. Nice crowd. Regular folks, Steel. Just like you and me. Speak for yourself. You see it anywhere? Not yet. You sure she's in here? I'm gonna look backstage. Check the balcony and cover the exit. I don't want this one giving us the blow-off. Jesus. Been pretty busy, haven't you, Slim? I think we can safely say that one's in biomechanical purgatory. You had to clear out everything else up here, too. Hope Early's got insurance. Putz employs replicants, he ought to expect the worst. Oh, sorry I missed all the laughs. Next time. It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Attention all units. All points bulletin has been issued for Ray McCoy, formerly BR-61661. Confirm one civilian kill, Ezo, considered armed and dangerous. What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Ezo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it! The look on your face after that last one? The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. Maybe I just got too much empathy. In all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. Detective Steele, BR-61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you gonna do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instincts so much. Guza must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. You got a deal. I get cracking before I change my mind. <laughs> 